Okay, we're going to be doing a assembly build on a Danfoss DS motor. Here is the cover. Quite an old motor actually, so uh, that's pretty much about it for that. Had a hard time getting that kit though. I waited over a month and a half to get it. I don't make too many of these. So, first it's going to be the washer. Next is the uh, thrust bearing. Actually, um, you know, thrust bearing as you can call it. Made out of plastic actually, so... Little steel balls inside or rollers. That will sit flat. Next is going to be the shaft. Now the timing on this is quite strange. So instead of having dots or anything like that, I usually put dots on this outer surface, Dan Foss decided not to do that. I decided making everything weird and special and I was reading the instructions and says I have to go five degrees clockwise on the instructions. So we're gonna attempt to do that. I'm gonna get two little blocks here to support it. And we're just gonna rotate that shaft five degrees as the instruction says. There is no timing dots or any kind of markings of any kind on the shaft, so gotta be careful. I see the shaft isn't too bad either. A bit rusty here, but this is where all the seals sit, and that bearing sits on that surface. So we're gonna go in five degrees. Pretty much gonna line up with, because the instructions were kind of pointing here, so I'm gonna say five degrees is right there, so we're gonna put it in and just five degrees in. Not the best instructions. Just kind of push it in and we're going to make sure that it's sitting that shaft sits five degrees. Because the instruction says I have to do that. So we're going to try to breathe through it the best we can. So that's Five degrees. Next, we're gonna get some grease and uh, put that O-ring in there next. I don't really do a lot of Danvos motors, so I have to read the instructions quite carefully. Mostly do Eden's uh, Eden's whites, Parkers. I don't really fix Parkers very much, but as the parts are just so expensive, the customer rather buy a cheap knockoff than they buy original, but. Anyways, so this is the grease, put it on the uh, o-ring here, and that's the play on the seal kit. I'm using a uh, full synthetic grease that doesn't have any additives in it. Just kind of wipe it all around. Next is this plate. So again, there's not much markings on there, just kind of, you can kind of tell there is witness marks. I'm not sure you guys can see that, and now there's these round discs that will line up onto this part right here. Oops. You can see here that's the drawer that's going to go on later. So we're going to put that on. And the interesting thing is the timing again is strange. Let's put some O-rings on the bottom here first. Do it off camera. I'm just going to get some grease and put it into these little notches right here. That's where, that's where the o-ring sits. Uh, I'm doing that because the o-ring will stick in place and prevent from frosting out and corroding. So I'm just going to put our o-ring on. So just like that. So that's the o-ring. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. A little easier to see. So. Our shaft is turned five degrees clockwise. And now we're gonna look for the top dead center of our star here, which is this right here. That's the top dead center. That's the biggest opening. So top dead center. We're gonna place it on top of this gold hole right here in the top corner. And we're just gonna slide it on. And I'm hoping that is the timing. 
of it all. I might get the timing wrong on this motor, so I'm gonna check on that because the instructions are very vague on timing. Put these pins back in again because they slide out. Some motors should be tight, some are loose, just the way they make them. Mostly for wheel motors and stuff, they're tight and uh, sweeper motors are loose, but. Again, let's put a little bit of grease on there. And that's pretty much everything. So, after you put your grease on there, you're gonna put your O-ring on top. Just like that. Again, it's not the best video to watch on how to do these Danfoss motors, but I haven't seen too many videos of a DS motor being built on YouTube, so I might as well build it. And I have it. And one more thing. Uh, these washers that came with the motor, uh, these are seals actually, believe it or not. These washers seal the bolt. These are wet bolts. The reason why you can tell if it's wet or dry is where the O-ring sits. So if the O-ring sits outside of the bolts, that's wet, and then there's first on the inside. So we're gonna get our bolts, and we're gonna put our brand new washers that the seal kit has provided us. Um, some motors have a back cap cover, but that's pretty much it. So we're shaft that's still at five degrees, that is top dead center. Let's hope I timed it clockwise. Uh, the reverse it. So you're probably wondering, how do I make this motor counterclockwise? It's top dead center or is over here. So for clockwise rotation, shaft is five degrees from looking at the oil ports and the shaft, or the, excuse me, the roller star is top dead center, 180 degrees from the oil parts, but to make it counterclockwise, this should be over here. This is top dead center to make it counterclockwise. If you don't know, just look on the instructions, go on Danfoss DS315, go on Google, and Google that number. It'll come up as a parts uh, service instructions, and it'll tell you everything you need to know. I'm not reading the serve instructions for you. And here's your cap. And here's the DS315. Here's the back side of that cover. And we're pretty much gonna put it on. Just like that. And then we're gonna get our new washers on here because these are, again, wet. So make sure this surface where the bolts and washers go into are clean. There's no paint obstructions. So that's what I did here. You can kind of clearly see. This surface is very clean and white steel. It's not rusty as this will leak and cause a failure in the motor. So we're just gonna put on our bolts. We're gonna look at spec again off camera, test it, make sure it spins the correct way and that's it. So that is the assembly for a DS Danfoss motor. Uh, it's quite an old motor, so you're not going to see a lot of these out there in the market. So if you, do st if you still have one, thanks for watching the video. I don't know why there's seven bolts, but that's the way to make them. Uh, this is very similar to the Eden 2000 or 1000 or 103, I mean, it's kind of like that, but there's one YouTube or one uh, subscriber wanted me to show more hydraulic content, so this is the hydraulic content, me building a motor. Next is a pump, we're going to be doing that, on the next shoot I'm going to do a a pump for a bobcat, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Thanks, bye.